Hi everybody, it's Kevin at Bear Creek. Um, got a uh, kind of a uh, funny little video for you today. Um, pretty lights, July 3rd, day before Independence Day. Um, I know uh, um, for a lot of beekeepers, handling uh, queens is, uh, is probably one of the most difficult things uh, to do. Um, you know, I've been beekeeping now for going on four years. Um, I've only been a commercial beekeeper, working for a commercial company for, for about two months now. And um, I still uh, have difficulty handling and marking queens. Not sure what it is. Uh, I just don't have a technique down yet, uh, a surefire technique for, for handling the queen. Um, you know, I know they, you know, some people say grab them by the legs, some people say grab them by the wings, some people say grab them by the thorax. Never ever grab them by the, uh, by the abdomen, um, or the head for that matter. Um, me, I, I, I've tried everything. Grabbing them from the wings is probably the easiest to get a hold of them. Uh, but after that, uh, transferring them over is where I run into my difficulty. Uh, in my hand. I've tried to grab the legs so many times and they always tend to She always tends to slip out and then start crawling around my hand and then bad things happen and I just wanted to share share with you a, uh, a, a Video I did the other day of me checking my mating nukes and wanting to mark my queens and I, I hope you find this as uh, amusingly frustrating as I did uh, but like I've told you before, um, I, I thought about actually not sharing it with you, but you know, what the hell? Um, you know, if you want to comment about how bad I am at it, uh, go ahead. I already know that uh, as far as handling queens and marking queens. Uh, my boss, he hasn't actually, honestly, I don't think he's ever seen me mark a queen before, but he doesn't even, he never even asks me. You know, I, I, I locate the queens on, on the hive all the time and go, I go, there, there's a He doesn't even wait for me to uh, to try to mark it. He just reaches over, grabs it, and uh, and he marks it. Uh, one of the things I gave him was uh, my uh, queen cage, and he has actually praised me several times over that uh, this is a game changer for him. He enjoys uh, marking the queens, uh, putting them in there, uh, and then setting it aside while he works the hive. Uh, that way he doesn't have to worry about it, especially with all the patching of hives that we have to do. And by patching, I just mean if it's a queenless hive, then we have to add brood or, or eggs to it from another hive. You can find the queen, set her aside, and then just remove and give that new hive uh, brood and eggs without, or you know, brood eggs and bees without worrying that the queen is on that particular frame. Don't have to shake it off. So kind of a game changer there. But um, he doesn't even ask me, so I don't even know if he know, knows that I'm not very good at it or not. He just, he handles, you know, he's handled so many of them before he just grabs them. He actually grabs them. I don't, I'm not exactly, I never really asked him. It looks like sort of by the, by the back legs and maybe a wing, but he just marks it, puts a perfect circle on it, puts them in the, that queen cage, and uh, away it goes. Um, it just does it fluidly, and I never really paid attention. I've tried to grab it by the legs, but they always manage to, uh, to wiggle out of my grip because I don't want to obviously put too much pressure on it. Um, the only thing that I have found that works for me is this little Chinese contraption right here. This is a queen catcher. I've shown this on a video before. Um, and uh, that just, uh, it just seems to work uh, really well for me. Um, my boss asked me what the hell this thing was and he just kind of chuckled and he goes, man, they make everything, don't they? Uh, you know, it just isn't for him. But I still want to get proficient at just grabbing a queen, marking her, throwing her in a cage. Because the problem is, is that after you get her in here, um, you know, I, I suppose I could just leave her in here. This is a lot to carry around. This is kind of a big, big, big item versus this little queen cage right here. Um, you just slip in your pocket, whatever. Um, but this is a lot to carry around. It doesn't fit in my tool pouch. This one does. Um, but I just want to get proficient at it. Anyways, I, I, I thought you would, would enjoy the chuckle. Uh, that, uh, you know, all beekeepers, I'm sure when they're starting out and even in their first few years, have trouble 
grabbing and marking queens. But uh, take a look at this video and uh, and I hope you get a, a couple of uh, smiles out of it. Oh, and uh, in case you didn't notice, my neighbors are probably pissed at me, but but uh, I have uh, let my lawn grow. I planted clover on it, and uh, I'm just sitting here, and uh, the bees are the bees are actually there. We go. The bees are all over it, um, all over my yard here, uh, feeding on the clover. There's five bees right behind me right now, and. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm actually happy about that. There's thousands and thousands of clover flowers growing. My yard looks a little bit like hell, but uh, honestly, I don't really care. It is what it is. Um, so anyways, um, check out the video and, uh, and let me know what you think. And if you like the video, give me a thumbs up. Uh, and uh, if you have any, su <laughs> any suggestions on how you pick up queens and mark them, uh, helpful tips, for not just me, but anybody reading the comment section, uh, drop them below. Till next time, happy beekeeping. Quite a few bees in here, surprisingly enough. Just gonna give them a little puff of smoke. Now these, I believe, are from a Minnesota hygienic package hive that I uh, that I installed back. Well, actually, I installed that one at the home. Uh, first week of May, I think. But like I said, I I did this uh, June 9th. So let's take a look at what we got going on here. They've got some honey stored, which that's good for them. Oh, they got comb built on the side of the hive, which I don't like to see. And there's my queen. She's big and mated. And uh, let me see if I can uh, show that, show her to you. Okay, and she, oh, there she is. She's right there. Well, you can see her wandering around. Not a bad looking queen at all. And we have eggs. So I have a laying queen in this colony. Success, as they say. So maybe you can see that. So let's see if you can see, hopefully you can see the eggs in this uh, hive. There. So I'm just gonna pick her up and mark her real quick. As soon as I can find her again. There she is. Actually, let me bring this out as well. She has literally just started laying. Okay, that's enough playing patty cake with her. Just waiting for her to kind of turn on me. And there we go.
And I'm not going to lie when I say that I really, really, really suck at uh, marking queens. Oops. Well, that did not go well. She just flew off, or right into the ground, and I can't move my feet. Unbelievable that I do this. I don't know how I do this. I always just screw up. That's a fiasco. Man, do I suck it. Well, a lot of freaking bees in this colony, I'll tell you that.
show you my plane. She flew off and she went back and she went up. So I'd kind of say she's probably still either a virgin or just freshly mated. We won't worry about it. But I have a queen in here. And I did see her go back in. That was just kind of... Uh... And for those of you who commented on me about getting a mic, well, here it is. I have a directional shotgun mini mic on my uh, Android phone here that I'm using to talk to you. And um, I hope it improves the audio quality, which I've gotten quite a few comments on uh, that people can't hear what I'm saying. Now, obviously, I'm pretty close to the camera right now and um, probably can't tell much of a difference. But... Uh, I'm hoping that it works when I'm um, actually working a hive and maybe talking a little bit away from the camera um, that you can pick up what I'm saying a little, a little easier.